What is up everybody? Today I'm teaching you how to buy your first bounce house. I'm gonna cover a few different ways to buy your first bounce house. I'm gonna tell you my favorite manufacturers and I'm even gonna take you shopping. I'm Nick Glassett, owner of The Jump Off. Let's get rolling. Who's this? Boston. And who are you? Uh, he's my dad. I'm his dad. We say what? Like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe, please. Please. And if you don't, I'll punch you in the face. Ah! Where to buy your first bounce house is the single question I get the most. You want to start a side hustle. You've done a little bit of research and you've kind of figured out that the inflatable business is a good business to get in. Or you rented one and you thought you paid too much and so you want to get in on some of the action. You go poke around the internet. You find some of my videos. You're all hype and motivated. You're ready to start this bounce house business and you got no idea what to do. You have no idea how to start a bounce house business or where to buy your first bounce house. So you can always do what many of you do. You can DM me your questions on Instagram. But today, we're gonna go through and cover all of this so you can start your bounce house business. Okay, so we're gonna break this down into four parts, okay? Or we're gonna turn them into questions. These are questions that I get all the time. Question number one, what should I buy? That's what I get the most. Should I buy a bouncer? A 15 by 15 bouncer or a 12 by 12 bouncer? Should I get a combo? Should I get water slides? How big of a water slide should I get? The questions are never ending. So this could differ a little bit based on where you live, but for the most part, I suggest everybody get a wet, dry combo. So that means when the weather is mild, you rent it out as a dry slide. When the weather warms up, you rent it out as a water slide. When the weather cools back off, you rent it out as a dry slide again. It's the most versatile unit. It'll rent most often. Therefore, it creates revenue consistently. The exception to that would be if you're in Miami or you're in Arizona you're in Southern California. You may want to go water slide first because those make the most money and your season is really, really long. I'm in Southeast Louisiana, close to New Orleans, where our season is really long, but still, you only rent water slides from roughly April and it kind of starts slow and then it trickles off as soon as the weather drops. We always be up in the 80s, 80s, 80s through September, maybe October and there's always one spot where it drops and your temperature hits down to the 70s, water slide season's over. Now that makes, the, the slide makes a lot of money in that amount of time, but it's not versatile. You'll be done by fall, you know what I mean? That wet dry combo is versatile. It can rent a longer period of time. So what should you buy? You should probably buy a wet dry combo. Question number two, should I buy a starter pack? There's multiple websites that sell these, three bounce houses, and everything you need to start a bounce house company. My answer is no. Do not buy a starter kit because it's not even close to the amount of things you need to start a bounce house business. They're gonna come with a set number of bounce houses, three to five. They're gonna come with stakes for all of those. They're gonna go with blowers for all of those. I've even seen some where they come with tarps for all of those. On the surface, it looks like everything you need to start a bounce house company, but it's not. So those starter packs, A, are expensive. B, they don't come with extension cords. They don't come with tarp stakes. They don't come with a trailer. They don't come with a dolly. Or if they do come with a dolly, it's not a dolly you want. Trust me on that. They're just not robust. They're just not complete. So you're going to spend five, dollars $7,000 on a starter kit, and you literally won't be able to get started. So no, you shouldn't buy a starter kit. The other reason I suggest that is this industry is hard work. These are heavy units. It's hot outside in the summer. It rains. It's nasty. It's muddy. You go buy a starter pack for five, seven, eight thousand dollars and then you decide this is not for you. You're not reselling it for the same amount of money you paid for it. I promise. Start with one or maybe two depending on your financial situation and get going before you really start buying too many slides. I have seen people buy too many slides. So should you buy a starter pack? No. Question number three, where should I buy my first bounce house at? So this has a multitude of different answers. I'm gonna tell you first what I did, and it's what I suggest most people do, and then I'm gonna tell you my top three favorite manufacturers. Okay, so where should you buy your first bounce house? Facebook Marketplace. Buy it used, here's why. 
you're going to get a bounce house for half to one third the price of a new one. And as you're a new operator, the quality of the bounce house does not need to be perfect. You need to get your feet wet. You need to get in there in the trenches and figure out what this is all about. You need to be able to learn. You need to be able to grow. You go buy a used unit, you have money left over to go buy the other things you need. But mainly, when you buy a used bounce house for a much, much lower price, guess what you can do when you first start running? You can start at that lower price. You don't need to be worried about making all your money back so quick. So you can come in a little bit lower and you can get yourself going. You can get yourself bookings. Undercut the competition, so to speak. Now, as you get better at that, hell yes, you're raising your price and you're going up. When I started, I started with used bounce houses. Long story short, my wife actually bought them, called me while I was at work and said, hey, didn't you want to start a business so you could quit your job? I said, uh, yeah. She says, I'm going to go buy a bounce house from Spacewalk in New Orleans. And I figured maybe you could rent it out, but I'm just sick and tired of paying people to rent theirs. So I want to have this one for our parties, but maybe you could rent it out. And the jump off began. As I went, I only bought used units because you could get them for so cheap. I could scale much quicker buying used units. So I can go from zero to 10 or zero to 20 or whatever much quicker and get going. Okay. I priced myself low. I started getting clients. I used my marketing to grow my market share. And as it did, I started to raise my price, raise my price, raise my price, raise my price to where now I almost feel like I provide a premium service. I'm actually priced a little higher than the competition in most instances. So I started low, I went high, but because I bought used, I was able to do that. Now, in just a second, I'm actually gonna go through on my phone and we're gonna go through and scroll Facebook Marketplace together. I'm gonna show you exactly how to buy one. Before that though, I'm gonna cover how to buy a new one. So if you're gonna buy your first bounce house and you're hell bent on buying it new because you got the money, good for you. There's about a million different places you can buy them from. I'm sure you've already Googled it. I'm gonna take you through my top three favorite ones where most of my units come from and then I'm gonna tell you a bunch of other places that I know they're reputable, but I just don't have the experience owning their units. Number one place that I get most of my units from is Spacewalk, spacewalksales.com. If you happen to go to spacewalksales.com and you buy a unit or you call them up and you inquire, please tell Corey, shout out to Corey, please tell Corey, Nick from the Jump Off sent you. That's where most of my units are from. They're local, so I can drive there, I can pay cash, I can pay card, and I like their units. I have a lot of their combos. Their, their wet dry combos are, are pretty much my favorite wet dry combos and they have great customer service. That's the number one place I buy all my stuff. Number two place I buy all my stuff is HEC Worldwide. So HEC-Worldwide.com. Again, if you go there and you buy anything or get any quotes, please tell them I sent you. But HEC, they're, I regard them as an industry leader. They have cutting edge technology. They're doing new stuff. They're really pushing the envelope. They got some cool stuff. They're great looking designs that people rent like crazy. Last year, my best slide, top earner, was an HEC unit. This year, I bought a brand new one, 18 footer Tiki Plunge with, with Big Pool. That thing's on pace to crush every other unit in dollars earned. I also have two of their combos. I really like those combos a lot. They roll nice. They're just, they make good units, man. HEC makes good units. The third I'm gonna cover is EZ Inflatables. Letter E, letter Z, inflatables.com. Again, tell them I sent you. Eddie and his team do a great job. I have two EZ units that is the exact same unit but different colors. They're kind of small, they're 15 foot slides. It's a purple crush, a 15 foot purple crush and a 15 foot blue crush. Those two EZ units run out more than anything. They're going out every weekend multiple times. They're doing weekday rentals during the summer. They rent like crazy. So those are my top three. Easy Inflatables, HEC Worldwide, and Spacewalk. All right, now I'm gonna run down some of the companies that I don't have their units, but I know I've heard great things about them and know people that have their units. So in no particular order. Number one, tentandtable.com. Weird, weird name for inflatables, I know, but trust me. People rave about their stuff. I think their designs are very medium, like they're not crazy flashy, but people love their stuff, tentandtable.com. Ninja Jump, 
I don't know a bunch about them, but I know people like their stuff. NinjaJump.com, I believe. Jump Orange. People love Jump Orange. And then on their website, they have something where you uh, you join like a club and your stuff is cheaper. So you pay like a membership price. It's almost like a, like a Costco type of setup on their website. But uh, people that use Jump Orange stuff love their stuff. Jungle Jumps. Good quality, good designs, good stuff. A kind of newer one, I believe, Corona Bounce. They're out of Southern California. I like their designs. Um, I know one person that has one, 18 footer, really, really likes it. I'll have some more intel on that soon, but Corona Bounce, I've heard good things. Bounce Water out of Florida, I believe. There's some people that really like those units a lot as well. All right, now in just a second, I'm gonna take you through Facebook Marketplace and I'm gonna go shopping with you to kind of help you weed out how to buy a used unit off of Facebook. But before we do that, I'm gonna answer question number four, which is, what else do I need? Yeah, this is kind of a long list, just being honest. And that's why I don't recommend you go buy the starter pack because they're so expensive. You're not gonna have money left over for all this stuff. So what else do you need? Tarps and tarp stakes for sure. Extension cords for sure. With that right there in your arsenal, you can pretty much start renting at that point, okay? That's bare minimum of what you need to get started. Now, if you buy wet dry combo, like I suggest, or you're in Miami and you buy your first one as a water slide, you're going to need a hose for it as well because it's gonna hook up to the top bladder system that sprinkles water down and then hooks up to the customer's hose. I highly suggest a trailer and why people trailer units without a ramp they like flip them onto the trailer I, i've never understood that i go right up the ramp with the dolly it's a thousand times easier but whatever get a trailer though it makes your life so much easier when i started we actually had our slip and slide rolled and stuffed into the back of the armada and i bought like this landscape wagon with inflatable wheels <laughs> just thinking about it, it's so funny and so we'd you know take the wagon out and we'd have to try and get the slip and slide to fall onto the wagon and then i think we would ratchet strap it i don't know it was kind of gangster just get yourself a trailer you need a bounce house dolly that's a real deal bounce house dolly my favorite one is sold by spacewalk so go to spacewalksales.com and click on accessories it's called the super mover dolly but i really like the super mover from spacewalk if you want to go all out and get yourself a motorized dolly they're about three grand all the way up to close to five grand, depending on the bells and whistles and the brand you go with. Um, I use my, my motorized dollies by Rollsall, R-O-L-L-S-A-L-L.com, Rollsall. They actually have a $2,000 model that's a 24 volt, which could get you started and you're in way less than $4,000. Still a lot, I know, $2,000. Um, or they have a $3,000 model that is the big dog that can hold up to 1,000 pounds. So you can get you know your big 22, 24-foot water slides on that sucker. But get yourself a good bounce house dolly. You need a big hammer. Okay, so go to Harbor Freight. Get yourself a hammer. Three-pound engineer's hammer. Okay, you got to put in those big stakes. While you're there, get yourself a pry bar. They're like $5. I got the one that's probably a foot long maybe 18 inches. It's pretty big and heavy, but it helps you put it underneath the bounce house stake and you can pry it up. And then you can also use it to get your tarp stakes out or at least get them started so you don't rip the corners of your tarps. Make sure your extension cords are 14 gauge extension cords or lower. 12 gauge starts to get expensive and you don't actually need it. 14 gauge can handle everything, but if you want to go on the safe side because it is electricity, get 12. You're going to need rags and towels to wash them with and dry them with. You're gonna to need to get Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. You can buy this big brick of them. I think it's like 20 bucks. I'm gonna link it in the description. There's this big brick of industrial ones. I freaking love it. I just got my new one in. I just opened it last week. Amazing. But those magic erasers get so much stuff off the vinyl that you think is stained on there forever. Get yourself a cheap leaf blower if you don't already have one. I have little electric ones. I got one in each of our trucks that we run. They're on Amazon, also linked in the description. 20, 30 bucks, I think. But they just help blow your tarps off before you roll them up. They help if you get, you'll get debris, you know, you get pine straw or you get leads on top of the mesh of the bounce house. You can get in the bounce house with it and blow it off. Leaf blower is clutch. You need soap to wash them. Mr. Clean, gallon jug, linked in the description. Best stuff that I recommend. 
that about rounds out the stuff that you need. And no, you don't have to have all of that day one. You can kind of improvise and use Dawn soap and an old beach towel. You can flip it into the back of your old pickup truck. You can do all sorts of things to get started. But that's just the stuff that I recommend you know, getting or at least putting on the priority list to get soon because it makes your life so much easier because these things are heavy and it's hard work already. Now I'm very excited to take you shopping on Facebook Marketplace. So this is gonna be live. I haven't looked today. I don't know what's out there to buy. Everything I come across is gonna be a surprise to me, but I wanted to make this video as real as I can. So I'm gonna switch over now to a screen recording that I'll narrate of me shopping Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna take you through exactly how to find yourself some good used units. Okay, so we've got Facebook Marketplace open here. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit the search bar and then you're just gonna type in your main keywords. Obviously, bounce house is probably your main one, but if you wanted to do inflatables, you could do that. And we could also do water slide. So it's summer, so let's search water slide and see what we got. So as you see, it comes up, and these are all people renting out water slides on Marketplace. So instead, we're gonna come up here to the filter, and then in our minimum box for dollars, we are going to put in, let's do 750. Now we're gonna hit C listings. Now it's gonna filter it out. There you go, your top one there, $2,500 water slide for sale, used like new. Scroll down, you see all these um, residential units, keep skipping those. There's a good one, 2,615 foot marble gray. Then you see some of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, water slide rentals, 999999. There's another one for sale though, 2,600. 3200 bounce house combo, keep on going. You got a lot of one, two, three, fours. There's a 2200 for a combo. And then, oh, that's a good one. 800 bucks, 22 foot wild wave. Keep going, more for rent. There's a big expensive one, $3,500 for a new one. But let's click on this 22 foot wild wave. I'm trying to make sure that people's names don't get put in it here, but you can scroll through the pictures, just make sure it doesn't look too worn out. And then uh, scroll down below, you can see a description. Um, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to put any people's faces in this. But So then in the message box, we'll erase this. And then we're just going to ask, what's the manufacturer of the slide? And what is the age or how old is it? And then we'll hit send here. All right, very cool. So now we'll just wait to hear back from the seller and see what he says, basically. And there you go. That's how you find a used inflatable on Facebook Marketplace. In that search bar, just type one of the main keywords, bounce house, water slide, combo, inflatable. Set your filter to have a floor of four, five, six hundred dollars, maybe even a thousand if you're looking for something big. You can play with it, it's real quick and easy. And then you just scroll through and you're gonna still come across those rentals that are priced one, two, three, four, or nine, 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 whatever. But it's obvious to see what's for sale, what's for not. When you find one you like, you tap it, it opens up, you check your pictures, you check your price, scroll down, check your description, scroll back up, send them a message, is this available? What year was it made? Who's the manufacturer? When and where can I come see it blown up? I have cash in hand. From there comes the more important part of finding it is actually buying it. So you wanna make sure that A, you see everything you ever buy blown up used never 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 buy a used unit without seeing it blown up never when you get there go slow you're in almost like a car buying type of environment not that they're pressuring you not that the other operators pressuring you but they're watching you check out their unit and you're kind of you know it's a little bit awkward it can be awkward so when you go there just go slow check everything out have a conversation with the person and connect a little bit talk about what you're looking to do, talk about what you do now, ask them how long they've been in the business, just build a rapport with them. Once you kind of get to a little bit of a stopping point in the conversation, two, five minutes in, whatever, just say, all right, man, if you don't mind, like I'm gonna look around a little bit, cool. Then you can start looking around. Take a flashlight with you so you can check corners, you can just check out the unit for real, okay? Go inside it, go ride the slide yourself, look at seams, look at corners, you know, where the seams meet up, those kind of corners, check those out, open that vent up, shine your flashlight in there, just make sure there's no funny business going on inside of there. I've never seen it, 
but I've heard of it happening. You know, support walls uh, rotted out, all sorts of crazy stuff. But just be thorough and make sure it's something you would want to rent. That's what you're doing. As you're walking it, would you want to rent this and or do you feel comfortable dropping this off at somebody's house? And then obviously if you like it, boom, make them a deal. You know, they say this bounce house is for sale for 900. See if they'll take 750. See if they'll take 850. If you're not a bargainer, which I'm not a bargainer, just pay that shit and get out of there so you can go get that thing rented. So in closing here, don't buy a starter pack, buy a used wet dry combo so you have money left over to buy other expensive tools. As always, you guys can DM me your questions on Instagram. I reply to every DM I get. And you can also hit me in the comments. I also reply to every comment that I get. And then if I brought you any value at all, I don't have to write, just go subscribe, subscribe. And if you really, 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 really love me, hit the bell, hit that bell. Cause uh, I'm working on getting more bounce house information out there. Cause it's just, I love to teach and I love, I love operating the jump off man. So I've got some other cool stuff planned from how to hire guys and how to do interviews all the way down to how to roll a water slide. So anyways, like subscribe, do all the stuff. I'm Nick Glassett. See you in the next one. Peace out. Are you going to own the jump off one day? Uh, if you die. Oh, dang, dude. Burn. Say peace out to the peeps. Peace out. Peace. Oh. <laughs> what up, everybody? So today I'm going to teach you how. I'm not looking at the camera. This is going to be. Oh, it's going to be hard. Question number three. Where should I buy? I think I just made it again. Question number... Question number three. Wow, I did it again.